Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are back with a Bose L1 Pro 16 update. I've been using these speakers at weddings, mainly weddings and some school events and corporate events since March of 2022. I got a full feedback and review on the speakers. Once again, used them at over 40 events this year. Um, I have my pros, I have my cons, and answer the question of, am I still gonna use them in the future moving forward or am I gonna switch to something else or go back to my QSCs? Find out soon, right after this. This is another JPW production. All right, we are back with the, hold on, I gotta adjust this. There we go, was it crooked? No, it's not crooked. That's why I'm not a videographer. There we go. So yeah, we're back doing my overview of the Bose L1 Pro 16s after doing 40 events. Is that right, 40, 40? Yes, we've done over 40 events this year. It's been a crazy year. So I'm really happy I got to use those Bose L1 Pro 16s for a lot of different venues, a lot of different setup scenarios, logistics of the setup and everything. So starting off, I'm gonna start off with the positive things. So there's not a lot of negative things, so we'll start out with the positive things. Number one thing, um, will probably be 180 coverage. So if you're not familiar with column array speakers, the Bose, the EV Evolve 50s, they all have a very wide coverage area. The Bose is at the top of the list for coverage. It's got 180 degrees. I think the EV Evolve 50s are 120, 140 maybe, but the Bose definitely have the widest range coverage of 180. What does that mean for you and your guests at the wedding? It means that when you set the speakers in front of you, you don't have to spread them way out. You don't have to turn them any direction or anything like that. You just set them next to your DJ setup and they're going to cover the entire room 180 degrees. So if you have a speech going on from the father of the bride, maid of honor, best man, people in the corner of the room could hear it, that corner of the room could hear it, everybody could hear it. It's just crystal clear across the whole room. Traditional speakers like that QSC right there, K12.2, um, those you'd have to turn them out just to get coverage throughout the uh, full room, but you're still gonna have dead spots because those are more, I think they're around 75 degrees, so you're losing a lot of coverage with a traditional speaker. Next up, we're talking ease, easy setup. I can't even say that, easy setup. So basically no more speaker stands, I love that. Just put the base unit on the ground, put the column array on top, and you're good. All set up, good to go. So ease of setup, that's my second thing that I really love about these speakers after doing 40 events. Another thing I really love about these speakers, the third thing is the modern design. You don't know how many compliments I get at weddings. People are walking up to them like, what is that? It's a speaker. It's a new Bose. L1 Pro 16s, and they're like, wow, that is so cool looking. So the modern design, very, very cool, very happy with that. I know that really doesn't matter to, you know, as far as the sound quality or anything, but it, it looks cool, so that always helps. Plus the design, we want a clean, modern looking setup, and the Bose L1 Pros hit that right on the head. Next up, this should have been number one, but it's number four. I guess they're in any order. All these things are important, but the number one thing in my book, even though it's my number four thing, of uh, things I like about the Bose after doing 40 events with them, is the sound quality. I cannot tell you how clear and just beautiful I'm at a loss for words. It just sounds amazing. So I highly recommend checking out the Bose. Just the sound, it's crystal clear. I had to do an event one time. It was an outdoor event. Um, I didn't really want to put my Bose out there. It was for a smaller event. So I used my QSC K12s, which are awesome speakers. But after using the Bose, going back to those, a traditional style speaker, the sound quality is just dramatically different. So once you go with the column array, you won't go back. I'm just telling you, it's just amazing sounding speakers. So sound quality, 10 stars if I could give it 10 stars. All right, the next thing, number five, is the fact that everything's near the ground. All the inputs are near the ground. So what am I talking about? For a traditional speaker like the QSC K12, I hate to keep throwing them under the bus, but it's right there, it's easy. Um, they typically go on a speaker stand and all the cords plug in, power cord, your XLR, and they have to run down the speaker pole. You gotta put a scrim on there or put you know, gaffer's tape, whatever, to clean it up so they're not hanging out. With the Bose L1 Pro, Everything's on the base unit, which is really low to the ground. So you're basically just running them into your 
DJ setup. Very clean setup. I actually use rubber mats that I put over so I don't have to worry about gaffers tape anymore. I'll do a video on that. That was an idea from DJ Keith. Thanks, Keith. I love that idea. He bought the little rubber weatherproof mats or whatever to throw over. I think they're five feet or four feet wide. Um, work great. You don't have to use gaffers tape and venues are so happy when you use those. But anyways, again, getting back to cords near the ground. Everything comes out low so you don't have to worry about taping down cords. Very clean setup. So that's the fifth thing. And the last thing that I could think of before I did this video of why I love these Bose L1 Pro 16s is a smaller footprint. So typically when you set up a traditional speaker on a tripod, you're going to have three legs sticking out. People could trip over them. They stick out. If you're in a, a tight space for your DJ setup at a wedding or an event, a lot of times that leg will be sticking out. I'll have to put like orange gaffers tape on there just so people see it and don't trip over it, even though they do anyways. Uh, but the small footprint, no legs sticking out, just a very clean, small footprint. So that's the last thing that I really love about these speakers. So those are my top things I like. Next up, after this break, we'll get into the things I do not like. All right, the things I dislike about the Bose L1 Pro 16s after doing 40, am I doing it the right way? 40 events this year, over, well over 40. We had in just two months, September and October, 51 events with my company. It's crazy. It's been the, one of the busiest years we've ever had. But getting back to the dislikes of the Bose L1 Pro 16s, the number one thing I dislike about these speakers and I think it would probably be true with most column arrays, is every event I do, especially the larger events, and if I'm really close to the dance floor, I am constantly worried about somebody drinking and falling into the column array and snapping it off. It hasn't happened yet. I had somebody bump into it when they were drunk. Um, it was at a tent wedding, so the ground wasn't as even. But that's probably the biggest thing I worry about and dislike about these speakers is the fact that somebody can fall into it. And unlike a tripod where I could probably catch it as it's going over, if it does even tip over, this one would be a lot easier to knock over and snap off possibly. So that's probably my number one worry. It's really not, I guess, a bad thing about the speaker. Well, it is a bad thing about the speaker, yeah. So yes, it is, it is something I dislike about the speaker, but I guess there's no way to resolve that because it's a modern design. It's part of what you have to deal with with getting the column array. So that's the number one thing I worry about every event I do. I try not to, but hey, they're nice speakers, they're expensive. I don't want somebody snapping the column array off, drunk falling into it. That's the number one. And the last thing I dislike, there's only two things I dislike about these speakers. The last thing I dislike about these speakers, and I'll give you a clue. Huh? Huh? What? Huh? <laughs> I don't want to go deaf and what do I mean by that is I love my hearing I'm a DJ I have to have my ears I have two daughters and a wife I want to hear them most of the time uh, but yes I don't want to lose my hearing and with the 180 coverage on the Bose L1 Pro 16s if you do not listen if you do not move them out in front of you that music's gonna be hitting you right in the ears because the 180 coverage will come right back. I mean, I literally stand behind it. It's like maybe a foot in front of me or two feet in front of me off to the side. Hits me right in the ear every time. Now, you can wear the headphones all night if you want, I guess, but I need to hear guests. I need to hear the crowd, the vibe. I wanna make sure the volume level is the right level out there so I'm not leaving my headphones on the entire night. So, I typically, and this is where I fall into some issues, I try to move them out in front of me, at least two or three feet in front of me, and then turn them out. I believe uh, Brian Red gave me this idea, just turn them out a little bit. He's got the EV Evolves, but do the same thing with the bows. Just turn them out a little bit um, so they're not coming back at you. So the 180 is more of an angle on your ears, so it doesn't hit you as hard. My cheat sheet just fell. But anyways, that's the number one thing is the sound. If you do not move them out in front of you, it, music just hits you in the ear. And the first wedding Drew and I did, Drew is uh, one of my photo booth attendants and up and coming DJs, we did at the Meyer Ballroom in Aurora in this very tight spot to set up with, so we couldn't really move them out because they'd be on the dance floor then. And man, that music was hitting us in the ears. That's the only thing, the other, only other thing I don't like about them is that music, that 180 coverage hit you right in the ears. So you gotta move them in front of you and tow them out a little bit like Brian Red said. Thanks Brian for that idea. Idea. That's it. I love the speakers. And um, if you like this video, like and subscribe. We got more coming up on the way. But again, I highly recommend them. Even though I have two things I don't like about them that I mentioned, still awesome, awesome speakers. The sound quality is amazing. And uh, we'll see you at the next one. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.